Hello everyone. Welcome to Controllers Tech. Today in this video, we will see how to use HC12 wireless transceiver with SDM32. I will first cover how to set up HC12 for communication, and later, I will use SDM32 to do the communication between them. So let's start with the setup first. Here is the HC12 I am going to use. I have one more obviously and it looks like this. If you compare them side by side, you can see the difference. Yes, I got a fake one, but unintended of course. There is crucial difference between both. The range is an issue for the fake HC12, but we can fix it, and I will leave the link for the fix in the description. I have already fixed the range, so I am going to use it. As you can see at the back here we have VCC, ground, RX, TX, and the set pin. So I am connecting ground to ground, 5 volts to VCC, TX to RX, and RX to TX. Now the set pin must be pulled low for the AT commands, so connect that to the ground. I have connected it to the FTDI serial device. And you can see in the device manager, the COM port is 4. So let's open the console at COM4. Choose the board rate of 9600. This 9600 board rate is default for HC12, and it is mentioned in the datasheet. Let's open the connection. Type the AT and send. You can see the response, from the HC12. Let's see what other commands that we can use here. This is to change the board rate. To change the communication channel. AT plus R is used for inquiry. Let's inquire the channel. I think it's uppercase C. Yes, the communication channel is set to 1. Board rate is set to 9600. You can type a AT plus RX to inquire about all the parameters at once. You can see the details in the datasheet. The transmitting power is set to max, and the mode is FU3. I am leaving everything to default, as this is the best setup. You can change them according to your requirement. Now let's create the project in Cube IDE. I am going to use both, STM32 F446 and F103 for connecting each HC12. First I am creating the project for F446. Give some name and click finish. Here is the cube MX. Select external crystal for the clock. Now UART1 is where the device will be connected. Turn on the interrupt, if you want to use the ring buffer here. Use the board rate of 9600. UART2 is for communicating with the computer. Same setup is required here too. Now 
Now the clock set up. I have 8 MHz crystal, and I want the system to run at maximum clock. Click save to generate the project. Here is our main file. Here I am going to send some data to the HC12. And I want the process to repeat every 2 seconds. Let's build it. We have no errors, so let's go ahead and flash this. As I am connecting two different MCUs to the same computer, I will face some issues with the SD link. To avoid that, connect the first SD link only. Now in the debug configuration, select the SD link serial number, and tap on scan. As there is only one SD link connected, it will show up. And now this particular project will only use this particular SD link. The code is successfully flashed. This is it for the transmitter, now I am going to create another project for the receiver. Here I am using F103C8 MCU, and the rest of the setup will remain exactly the same. Here in the main file, create an array to store the received data. Now HALUART receive will receive 22 bytes of data in the blocking mode. And then transmit that data to the computer. Let's build it and flash. Now I am connecting the second SD link. Check the serial number again, and tap scan. You can see both the SD links are being detected. As I already know that this one is the first one, so select the second and click apply. Now this project will always use the second SD link, regardless of how many are connected. So we have flashed both transmitter, and receiver. Let's see the connection once. This wire right here, is connected between the RX pin of the HC12 and the UART1TX. This one is connected between the TX of the HC12, and the UART1RX. VCC is connected to 5 volts from the MCU, and note that the set pin is not connected anywhere. We need to leave it like that for communication. And while using the AT commands, ground the set pin. The similar connection is in the receiver end also. TX to RX, and RX to TX. Also I have connected the UART2 pins to the FTDI, to communicate with the computer. Let's open the console and set the COM port for the receiver. As you can see, the data is receiving every 2 seconds, as we expected. I have tested this for a pretty good range, and it works as stated. Obviously I couldn't test for 2 km range, but I think, it should work for a fairly large range too. Now let's move to the more complex part, and here we will do a two-way communication between both the HC12 modules. 
To do so, I will use my UART ring buffer library. I already have a video on it, you can check on the top right corner. Let's include the library files. Put the C file in the source directory, and header file in the include directory. Do the same for the second project also. Let's modify the F103 project first. Include the UART ring buffer.h file. Change the header file according to your controller. Now we need to copy this, and paste it in the interrupt file. And change the default interrupt handler to the modified one. Now in the main file, first define the device UART, and PC UART. In the main function, call the ring buffer initialization function. And now, if the data is available from PC, it will read it, and send it to the device. And if the data is available from device, it will read it, and send it to the computer. That's all, now let's build it. We need to do the same steps in the second project also. I will just fast forward this part. Let's build it, and flash to the MCU. Flash the first one also. So we are all set now. Let's open another instance of this console. So one is at COM port 3, and another at COM port 4. Here the pink color is the one I am sending, and black color is the one receiving. You can see the communication is working both ways. And as this is using ring buffer, we can send random number of characters also. This is it for this video. I hope you understood it well. You can test different board rates and powers, whatever suits the need. You can download the code from the link in the description. Keep watching, be safe, and have a nice day ahead.